Hey everybody, what's up? It's Joel, AKA The Daily Guru, and I was commanded to answer a question that I know a lot about. Working out. The fact of the matter is, with wintertime on its way here in the Northern Hemisphere, a lot of people are gonna be moving their workouts indoors, whether it's running or lifting or anything like that, and it's time for you to get a good playlist. A lot of people are concerned because music can be one of the more important aspects of working out because the last thing you wanna have to listen to is the idiots babbling next to you or the useless information on television. What you need is an amazing playlist that's gonna keep you motivated from end to end, and I'm gonna tell you how to do it. One of the first mistakes a lot of people make when they're doing a playlist for working out is they put their favorite songs on there. Your favorite songs may not be right for working out, so make sure you understand what keeps you motivated. That's the other big thing is what works for me may not work for you. Some people like to work out to jazz. I don't know how. Some people like to work out to heavy metal. Some people like to work out to hip hop. Some people like to work out to songs from their childhood. You have to sit down and think about it. What songs keep you going? What songs give you energy? What songs put you in a positive mood? That's what you need on your workout playlist. But a word of caution, make sure you pay attention to the rule of three. To make sure that your mix is eclectic, that it keeps Keeps fresh in your ears, don't put any more than three songs by any single artist on your playlist. Even if your favorite artist of the world is the king of workout music, I don't know who that is, is that a genre unto itself? It doesn't matter, make sure there's no more than three songs by any single artist on the mix. But at the same time, make sure there's enough music on your playlist. In my opinion, since you know how long you're gonna be working out, I would have at least three times that length in music on the playlist. So if you're a distance runner, you may need five, six, 10 hours of music on your playlist, but this will ensure no songs get repeated and it will keep you going from beginning to end. The other thing is you need to have an understanding of how the songs flow together. You need to know where the volumes are at. The last thing you want is to be in the middle of a workout and have to go like this because the music got loud all of a sudden. So what I've done is I've linked my old video on playlist right here. You can go check that out and I talk about doing a lightning fast listen through every single song on the playlist. It'll not only help in the flow of all the songs, but it'll make sure that there's no spikes in volume. And much like I talked about in that other video, make sure that you keep changing the songs up. Up. Yes, you want to keep that core dozen or so songs that you absolutely love when you're working out, but make sure you're taking other songs out, putting new songs in, especially as the course goes, if you're working out multiple times a week, you'll appreciate having new songs in your ears all the time. Just make sure that every single song is the kind of song that's going to motivate you to get through that last rep, to push to that last mile, to help you to yoga more? So no matter what type of workouts you do, music can be one of the most important and helpful elements involved in that. So follow these rules and you'll have a great playlist and we'll see you guys again next time.